You thought love lovers, this is your home, welcome. In the midst of making form, love made this form that melts form. With love for the door, saw the vestibule. Watch the dust grains moving in the light near the window. Their dance is our dance. We rarely hear the inward music, but we're all dancing to it nevertheless. Directed by the one who teaches us the pure joy of the sun, our music master. When I am with you, we stay up all night. When you're not here, I can't go to sleep. Praise God for these two insomnias and the difference between them. The minute I heard my first love story, I started looking for you, not knowing how blind that was. Lovers don't finally meet somewhere. They're in each other all along. We are the mirror as well as the face in it. We are tasting the taste this minute of eternity. We are pain and what cures pain both. We are the sweet cold water in the jar that pours. I want to hold you close like a lute so we can cry out without loving. I mean, I want to hold you close like a lute so we can cry out with loving. You would rather st throw stones at a mirror. I am your mirror and here are the stones. Um, a really fun thing to do that I, that I want to start doing every day is on Pinterest yesterday. I did because I usually I try to like I try to like use Pinterest in like a way where I can manifest my desires where I'm like I want this life and this life and also I use Pinterest because it makes me feel better when I ever feel sad because it's all positive and there's nothing negative and I like it just reminds you of all the things that you want and all the pleasures of life but what I've what I want to start doing is um making one for each month on and using it uh, using it as a manifestation tool of like what I want that month to be like so I usually as well I have a um a board that's like that's like I look like it's called I look like and um literally genuinely for some reason that one I always manifest where it's like people start being like all of my I look like is just filled with Drew Barrymore and then everyone says I look like Drew Barrymore now like I can just and then one time was Brittany Murphy and then you know what I mean like I change it and like I start looking like the the people that I'm like you know what I mean but this is mine so I have like it's like really specific like I want it so basically I'm doing my market on on Saturday <clears throat> and if it goes well I'll have loads of money so I want to get my nails done because I never get my nails done and I want to get those nails or I want to get those nails and then also it's like so specific and also my birthday is this month so I like literally saved all the things that I want to get for my birthday or all the things that I want to happen and <clears throat> like there's a guitar because I want a guitar and then there's sorry my voice is like gone and then I also save art like the art that I want to create or like the the vibe of my month or whatever and like I want to look like her and I want to look like her I think they're the same person but I want to look like that and I want to look really bohemian and like that's all the stuff that I've saved and I have these are my dream and it's so weird because when I'm doing it it's like it's just so weird because I was doing it and I just decided to do it and before that I made an Amazon wish list and these were literally an Amazon wish list because I want those headphones so bad but yeah it's like as specific as that like the th the clothes I want to wear, the hairstyles I want to have, the makeup I the kind of makeup I want to wear this month, you know the life the vibe I want this month, and then you're just like going through your month with intention, but like I can't speak right now, so I'm gonna stop speaking. Um, I'm all dressed now, but basically I don't know why I said I'm all dressed now, but anyway. Um, but basically, if anyone knows, so I got this comfort. I think Keila gave it to me this like Samsung camcorder and I really want to use it but it doesn't work because I think it needs a new battery but basically Keelan gave it to me because she was like I don't know where to find the battery and I've looked all online but I don't know where to find it but if anyone knows just let me know okay wait I'll show you it's this this is the battery and it says oh okay it says it's a 7.4 V oh. 1100mAh um, and then it says model number SB-L110A or 0A 
But if anyone knows where you get like vintage, like old batteries for like old camcorders, can you let me know if anyone knows? Because I'd love to use this. Because wouldn't this be so cool if I was just like using this? If I was like. I'm gonna just calm down today. Well, I don't know why I said calm down, but I'm just gonna do like nothing today because actually I'll probably make, play some guitar, but I'm gonna do mostly nothing today because I'm sick and I wanna not be sick. But like, it's just congestion in my chest. Like, I don't know. And it's just like something sitting on my chest. Like, that's it. Like, I'm not in any pain, but it's just congestion. It's really annoying. It's just really uncomfortable, but like, I'm not complaining about it. Um, hey, paradise. Up a parking lot. I'm gonna try learn um Big Yellow Taxi. Is that what it's called? I'm gonna try learn Big Yellow Taxi by Jenny Mitchell on the guitar. So yeah. So I'm gonna make an iced coffee because I haven't had a coffee in a few days, like because I've been sick. Like I'm not even sick, I just feel kind of dizzy and congested. It's really weird, but I just feel weird, so I'm gonna have a coffee and see maybe that if that's it. Like literally yesterday I had a smoke because I was like, maybe that's it. Wait, I feel like I haven't like talked in ages. Let me think if there's anything. Um, I want to do a video soon, like about like the kind of because I just copy Purple Palace and everything she does. But like, um, what's her name or what's yeah? She did a video because she basically went through a breakup a year ago or a divorce, so it was so much worse. But I want to do like and she then she did like a year later like a recap and I a recap. And I want to do one of those, even though it hasn't been a year. It's been nine months, I think. Eight months or nine months. Um, but I want to do one of those because I think that I have really good advice on, like, how to get over a breakup. And, like, loads of people text me asking, um, which I always reply. One time, sorry, but loads of people always text me asking, like, how to get out. Like, they're like, I'm going through a breakup. Can you help? And I always reply. Um, but like I want to just be able to like send them a video to be like because I have so much to say to help people um, this girl one time texted me and she was like oh, I'm going through a breakup I'm not even joking I sent her like four paragraphs like huge paragraphs sorry I sent her like four huge paragraphs and she just did she just left me seen like she never replied isn't that so strange? Some people are just like that though, like if they feel sad they're just like, but like, I don't know, some people are just like that though, but anyway. Cause like, it's so like, I feel like people don't talk about it after a certain while, especially people on YouTube because it reaches this point where it's like too fucked to talk about it anymore. Cause it's like, oh my God, she's still not over it. But like, but like, of course I'm still not over my first love. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, is that not fair enough? But anyways, it's just such a complicated situation. It's just such a complicated thing to go through because it's like, I don't know. I'm like, I just feel like you, there's needs to be more YouTube videos on people going through breakups, to be honest. Because there's just no videos, but everyone's like, it's too fucked. But like, because I just couldn't talk about it with anyone because no one fucking could relate. So I just couldn't talk about it with anyone. And the only YouTube videos that I liked, that I watched was the Purple Palace. The Purple Palace's videos, if you watch her videos, she will, like, help you so much. But, yeah, I wanted to, like, do a recap video. But I think I'll make it into an own video. But I think I'll make it into another video. But, like, I don't know. Because things are just too fucked. Because it's just, like... But because, like, I was going to do one because I, before. But I was, like, it's too fucked if I ever see him in public. But now I don't care if I see him in public because it's not fucked. Like, I'll just... Because I don't care that much right now. But like, um, cause I just go through phases where I care so much to the point where I'm like, why do I care so much? This is like weird that I care so much. And then where I'm just like, why did I ever care? Like, I don't care at all. Like it's too fucked. But like, if you're just, if, for example, if you're going through a breakup right now and you're like, oh, it's so fucked up that I'm still not over him. You're not, you're over him. You're just not over something. Like there's just an issue that you have that's nothing to do with him or her. Like, that's what it is. She come in, do you know what I'm saying? Also, you know what's so weird? Okay, so basically, I watched a video last night by Leo Al Alexandra. I also watch her. She's really good. She has really good videos that make you feel really good. Um. Oh, yeah, Leo Alexandra, she was saying yesterday. Um. I can't remember what the video was. Oh, yeah, she was just like, it was just a video about, like, um, 
how to like get out of a victim mentality. It was nothing to do with heartbreak, but she was like, she was like, there's ten year cycles in your life, so like, you will kind of like be tested every ten years, kind of, or like things will be brought up that were from, that were from your ten years previous please tell me that didn't make sense that sentence but just understand me please but like she was saying how like when she was nine she was um or when she was 19 she was like excluded and stuff and then when she was 29 she she always felt like a like a weirdo when she was nine and nine 19 or something and then when she was 29 she felt like she couldn't connect with her friends and she felt those feelings coming back and then she just had to catch them and catch the kind of trauma or the core beliefs but then I was like, what's well, 10 years last time for me? When I was nine, right? My parents got divorced. My dad abandoned my family. That was like the, that was like the pinnacle moment of my whole life. I've never used that word pinnacle, but I'm hoping that it works. Um, but that like, sh like that like fucked my, my life up. Not fucked my life up, but like it like fucked me up big time. Um, like self-esteem wise where I just felt like I wasn't good enough for anyone because my dad left me but like anyways I'm not saying literally I'm just saying that's how I reacted where I was like oh um it's just where my abandonment issues came in because I was abandoned and then what happened when I was 19 I got abandoned again and those exact feelings they're the exact same feelings but just with a different fucking hat on if you know what I'm saying and I remember I was crying about it like a few months ago, maybe it was a month ago, I was like crying about the breakup for some reason and then I just started crying about my dad leaving my mum and like it was just so similar, like nothing changed in my feelings, it was just different thoughts. Um, but they were all the same thoughts if you know what I mean, it was just different memories. Do you know what I'm saying? Which just showed me how like it's nothing to do with anything that's happened to me, it's to do with myself. And that's what my therapist, why I love my therapist, because he's not like, he's never like, oh, what happened in your childhood? Like he actually never, we never talk about other people, we only talk about myself. Like we only talk about me and how my, how I feel and how I feel about myself. Um, and if needs be, we'll talk about other people obviously, but like how I react to others and like how I, you know what I mean? Um, how I behave in situations and stuff like that. Um, not enough coffee, but it's good. This song I wrote, um, I saw, I wrote this song, um, I'm so scared my arms here. I wrote this song, like, five months ago, but I just changed the melody. <laughs>